Welcome back into Twin Cities Live. You may notice I'm sitting alone, but I'm not really alone. Actually, in studio, I have a lot of really cool people behind the scenes working here today with me, but I'm the only one here in front of the camera. Elizabeth is working today on location in Minneapolis. She's at the Minneapolis Home and Garden Show. Elizabeth, you got out of that very comfy chair and found yourself inside a garden. <laughs> I am inside a garden. I was trying to make a deal with those Dunwoody students to see if they wanted to create a sculpture for our studio. And I think we maybe are sowing the seeds. And speaking of seeds, oh my gosh, look at how beautiful this garden is. It's so much fun when you come out here to the Minneapolis Home and Garden Show because it feels like spring because they just bring in so many beautiful plants. And you can just imagine what life is going to look like outdoors um, as we start to wake up after a winter, even though we all know it. It has been quite a mild winter, but I want to talk to Bill Swanson here. So Bill is from O'Flora Gardens, and Bill is behind this whole operation. Bill, I mean, how much work is it to bring it? You brought a pond in. What is going on here? Well, actually, we put in about eight semi-loads of material into here. Whoa. There's 100 tons of boulders, and it took 1,000 man hours for 20 guys over five days. So we, we wanted to give it to the best we could. Oh my gosh. Well, listen, you really outdid yourself because it's so gorgeous. What are some of the highlights when you're looking at some of these plants? Because they just look, you know, it looks like a Japanese garden, which is so fascinating to see in Minnesota. What are some of the elements you love the most in here? Well, one of the things is for the home show, I want to show the most interesting, the best and, and so forth. So design wise, I, I did a Japanese garden perimeter here. Yeah. And then my fantasy garden is in the middle. So when you start to see the buildings, you want to be intrigued and you come in. And so there's uh, two phases to this. Okay, so are you sketching this out? I mean, I, I know you have many years of experience and this event is like your baby. You come here, this is where you get to meet and greet customers and then they see your vision and they want to create it in their own space. But does it start from a drawing or does it start from, are you dreaming? Are you waking up in the morning being like, this is what we got to do? Well, actually, it even starts year like right now i'm starting to think about next year no way. so last year i thought about it right away because i like the bar antiques that's the uh, the large buildings here yeah. and he has such a unique flavor to them i wanted to embed them into a landscape that we could put in the in the home and garden show and okay. i thought it'd be neat that's very cool. So I've seen the bar antiques before, and if you haven't seen them in person, they're so cool. Bill, let's go in, okay? Let's start walking in, and um, I want to see a little bit. Hi, guys. We're going to cruise around. You can follow us. we got a whole crew of people over here. So we're going to walk inside, and we're going to see the fantasy part of the, uh, of the garden. Ignore the exit only sign. We've got Bill with us, so we've got VIP. We can just go right in, um, and we're going to see. Now, when you're talking about the bar antiques, you're talking about these amazing little buildings look at this one drew you've got to get in there to see what that is yeah actually the barn teaks have such an interest to them and i've had a customer utilize them in a landscape of mine and she used it as a a chicken coop yes and oh okay now you're speaking my love language uh, and dan can do so creative with these uh, buildings so i liked the idea of doing this uh fantasy garden oh. so i have these weeping trees i've got the uh, orchids is set with the bottles, and I've got some artistic orchid sprays and all that sort of thing. It's so beautiful. Look, we can even keep going through. Hi, friends. We're going to scoot on through. I'm telling you, it's busy here at the convention center. you got to make sure that you come out and you see everything. But this is what's so amazing. Like, look at all the flowers that are planted. And then there's more of these just little buildings. You're creating a pathway and an experience. And I have to imagine that that's part of what you do when you go into people's homes that you want to have a flow so that people can experience the garden in all of its glory. Well, absolutely. And the fun part is when you're designing a whole landscape and they want interest throughout, then we can take the pockets and create whether there's a Japanese corner, whether there's an English garden on one side. You know, so people like a little diversity and you have a waterfall or a stream that ties it all together. So there's a lot of fun. It just uh, It's up to the imagination. I can tell that you really love what you do. You've been doing this for a long time. How many years have you been out here at the Home and Garden Show? Because this is the 90th year. Yeah, so this is my 40th. Oh, my so, God. So uh, it's, uh, it's, I've been here a long time. I go back to the old convention center, you know, and they rip that down. And so it's been great. But this is a beautiful place, and I meet a lot of customers, and we get all our business from here. 
Wow, that's amazing. And what's so cool, too, is that, you know, there's so much technology out here. You always see the latest and greatest when it comes to grills and hot tubs and all of those different things. But I think at its core, a lot of Minnesotans, we want to find ways to be outside, to just slow down a little bit, to enjoy the beauty of what we have outdoors. And that's what you're doing out here. This is so cool, Bill. You know, absolutely. And the typical winter people want to get out of, <laughs> so usually. And so the people come in. They want to look and see what's happening for spring and summer and just enjoy and smell the smells of spring. Oh my gosh. It's wonderful. It's so good. I got to show you guys this, too, because I just think this is so cool. This is something that, like, anybody could really do, Bill, which is just taking some of these cool concrete paver stones and then just displaying them in a beautiful sculptural way, putting some moss and putting a pot on top. I mean, that's a very inexpensive but, like, a lot of look of an idea. Well, absolutely. It's just, uh, you know, showing some creative... Uh, do-it-yourself type setting. You know, taking those pavers that we have in the sidewalk, yeah. just creating a little table and doing that. And that's the same thing if uh, you see the pots, the white pots with the red tulips, just displaying color. The white versus the red. It's such a good idea. Okay, I know they're telling me I don't have enough time, but i got to show you in here. Come on, you guys. Look in here with me. Look at all these little succulents and this cute little thing. And the theme of this episode is going to be Elizabeth sitting in fun chairs. So here I'm in this tiny chair. I'm not going to put all my weight on it, guys, <laughs> but uh, it's really cute in here. Look, this is where I could hide from all my children, Ben Lieber, and I could just sit in here in solitude. Well, Elizabeth, why don't you go back to that first one and sit in that chair? <laughs> <laughs> I know. That was a very, that was a very interesting chair. I've never, I've never thought that that little Dr. Seuss building was going to be an outhouse. That was shocking. Isn't it cool in here? I know. That one, don't use that, Ben, if you come here. I mean, let's be clear. It's not an op. A, a, a lot of things are real and want to be experienced here, but not that part. Just yeah. look at it. It, it just shows Call the versatility me. of what those buildings can be. They can be anything that you want them to be. I know. Oh, thanks, I Elizabeth. I love it in here. It's magical. All right, I'll be back later.